Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Amanda the Duchess and today I want to discuss the topic of how a consciousness of confidence can lead to greater success and rewards. Now what exactly is the consciousness of confidence? Well, that's what we're about to find out and I want to discuss some of the strategies and rewards that you can apply to gain greater success whether through your business, relationships, or the projects that you're working on. The consciousness of confidence is really a mindset. It's a way of thinking. The Bible says in Proverbs that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now first, I want to look at the definition of confidence. And when I looked it up on dictionary.com, the definition of confidence that they gave me was um, a full trust, belief in the powers of trustworthiness or reliability of a person or a thing. Now think about it. When you're confident in something, you're more likely to put your money behind it, your time behind it, your energy behind it, and your efforts behind it. So how can we develop this consciousness of confidence that will lead to greater success and rewards. Strategies of developing a consciousness of confidence. Number one, visualize success. You have to develop a mental picture of things turning out in your favor for whatever chosen profession, career, or project that you're working on. There's a scripture in the Bible, Hebrews 10.35, which states, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has a great recompense of reward. Basically, if you can see it, you can have it. Many athletes in relating to their success say that they saw themselves making the basket or the touchdown or the goal in their mind before they even achieved that level of success. With artists, some people describe um, seeing their fans out there. They saw themselves as successful. And that's what we're talking about, developing a consciousness of confidence and visualization is a great technique. Strategy two, preparation. The more you prepare for something, the greater confidence you'll have and that you can succeed in it. For instance, let's say when you were a kid growing up, you know, you had a test, a spelling bee. Well, if you studied your words, you were more likely to go into the exam knowing that, oh, I'm going to pass this test with flying colors. Well, that's what we're talking about, preparation. And sometimes you can alleviate certain types of, you know, stressors or anxiety if you would just simply take the time to prepare for that thing. If it's an interview you're going on, you may want to take time to, you know, review a little information on the company that you want to get hired for. You want to know, you know, the position exactly that you're going after, how much that position pays, what are the skill sets, what are the requirements for that position. Preparation is a great technique in developing a consciousness of confidence. Positive affirmation and accountability is strategy number three that we're going to be using in this example. Um, when you have positive affirmation, that's meaning you're speaking positive things about yourself. You have to check your self-talk. Are you thinking, oh, I can't do this thing, it's too hard for me? Well, then that's wrong. You need to readjust your mindset, get a paradigm shift, and start speaking success over your situation. Start speaking, you can do these things, you will accomplish your goal. And then it might help to get some accountability as well. When you can have people that you trust and you can discuss your goal with and say, well, listen, I had this interview, please, you know, be rooting for me, you know, what can I do to improve my chances of getting this job? Then you have those accountability partners who can help you along the way, who can encourage you. And then you increase your likelihood of developing that consciousness of confidence. And it will keep you aware of the fact that you have people who want to see you succeed. People that have invested some of their time and energy into seeing you through to your goal. Another strategy that I wanted to add on to there that's very important is meditation and prayer. Sometimes when you can get your thoughts quiet enough to focus in on a thing and really just meditate on that thing, you can get it deep down into your heart, you can get it deep into your mind, and then ideas and creative wisdom may come to you and insight and inspiration. The strategy of positive affirmation and accountability is particularly very effective for writers. Sometimes, you know, writers can get what you call writer's block, but really, you need to develop the mindset, okay, that I want to write a chapter this day, I want to get a certain amount of words done by the end of the week, and then you can have a goal to aim for and to shoot for. But if you have in your mind, I can do this thing, I'm equipped to do this, and I already put it out there, I already told my cousin that I'm going to finish three chapters by next month, and they're going to be checking on me to make sure that I've carried it out, then these are some of the strategies you can use to really higher your level of success and to ensure that you see your goal come to fruition. Now I want to discuss some of the benefits and rewards of developing the consciousness of confidence. Now number one, it leads to greater success and rewards. 
when you have this consciousness of confidence, you're more likely to be aware of everything that's going on around you. You'll recognize opportunities quicker. You'll see success in everything that you look at. You won't look at just, okay, what's the struggle in this thing? You'll look for, okay, how can I be a solution? And when you do that, you lead to capitalizing on these opportunities which leads to greater success. You have it in your mind that I'm going to succeed and I'm looking to improve somebody else. It leads to a happier, healthier life with more fulfilling relationships and capitalizing on greater opportunities. Another benefit of having a consciousness of confidence is that it's contagious. It helps somebody else get off of their feet. It helps somebody else be motivated and inspired to push forward in life. And in life, when we help others, ourselves receive help. It always comes back to us in some form or another. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope that I was able to encourage you in developing a consciousness of confidence and how it leads to greater success and rewards. You can always look me up on Twitter. It's Amanda Duchess too. And remember, what you think about, you're going to act on. So make sure that you have a consciousness of seeing yourself succeed because you know what? You're already a success.